evening, everybody, resident, rector, colleagues, students, esteemed guests. Um, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to CU's to Academic Excellence, and, sorry, and CU's Excellence in Academic Awards. Sorry. We'll be, following up, we'll be uh, handing out the following awards. Um, BA Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, the BA Outstanding Service to the Community Award, the MA Outstanding Academic Achievement Awards, the Best Dissertation Award for the PhD, and the CU Excellence Awards. Before we begin, I'd like to ask the Rector, uh, Cellini, to give us uh, some opening remarks. Distinguished faculty, may I single out one person who's present here, Helga Novotny, who has been a very old friend of uh, the university and helpful to us in many ways, but especially here in the selection of some of our prize winners, and I'm so pleased you're here, Helga, in person. Esteemed colleagues, and most importantly, our exceptional graduates. It's with immense joy, pleasure, and pride that I welcome you to this momentous occasion. We celebrate today not only the academic achievements of our graduating students, but we also are honoring faculty and staff who have demonstrated in their respective fields great dedication and exemplary service to our university. So congratulations to all of you. To our graduating bachelor's, master's, and also doctoral students who have been recognized as the best of their respective class, today is your day. Your journey has been marked by countless hours of study and research, disciplined hard work, <coughs> perseverance, and I hope also a little joy. It's a beautiful city, and I hope you've had a good time with us. But nevertheless, we are going to reward you today for the hard work that you have put in during your years at CEU. It has set you apart, especially your hard work, and that's why I underlined it, in your academic endeavors at the university. Please do take a brief moment to reflect on your academic journey at the CEU. Do remember some of the challenges, but also the triumphs, the late nights and early mornings, probably the fun and also some of the frustrations. But also think of the mentors here who have guided you, your family and friends in Vienna, but also at home, whose support you have received over the years. Their belief in you, even when you probably often doubted yourself, has played a crucial role in your academic achievement. So as you move forward, let this, let this recognition that you're going to get today be a beacon lighting the way for your future endeavors. To our best teaching staff, our research staff, our community service award recipients, your contributions have ignited minds, they have pushed boundaries, they have ensured smooth operations of the university as a whole, but moreover it's exemplified the spirit of CEU. Each of you has played a vital role in our success, and it's thanks to your loyalty, dedication, and hard work, which does not go unnoticed, that this award is being given to you today. We thank you for your commitment, and thank you for the excellent work that you have done on our behalf. Last but not least, the graduates, whom we award the Excellence Awards today. This institution is and will always be your home. And we're all eager to see the impact that you're going to make as you go out into the world. But please come back and feel free to visit us whenever you are in Vienna. Very soon you'll be graduating on Friday and you will then belong to our family of alumni. Faculty members, staff, colleagues, Thank you for your extraordinary dedication and service to our community and for making our university such an excellent place to work in. So thank you very, very much for all the work. Recording is done. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Shalini. Um, this year, we introduce a new award to honor the achievements of our undergraduate students, the BA Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. This award commends those who've atta attained the highest grades during their coursework. Uh, in addition, the BA Outstanding Service to the Community Award acknowledges students who have demonstrated exceptional dedication to the BA programs and to CU. These students have made noteworthy contributions through their volunteer work, participation in university events, and commitment to cultivating a supportive and vibrant community. I'd like to give the floor to Andres Moles, the Dean of Undergraduate Studies. First, we present the BA Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, which is being awarded to the BA student for the first time. Among the 48 bachelor students at our university, some have performed outstandingly, achieving the best grades during the coursework. We would like to recognize them now as recipients of the BA Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Graduating students, please rise and come forward as your names are called to receive the award. This year, the BA Outstanding Academic Achievement Award is given to a student from the Culture, Politics and Society program. Mariana already stood out from the, from the time she applied to the CPS program, when she was one of the two recipients of the, of the CU Presidential Scholarship. She continued to excel academically in her time at CU, as well as her study abroad at Bart Berlin, uh, College Berlin. She is graduating at the top of the BA cohort with a double major in sociology and social anthropology and visual, visual theory and practice. In addition to her, strong, to her strong academic credentials, Mariana is very involved in artistic pursuits, including theatre. On this line, along with Vera Fries, their capstone project is a theatre workshop on connecting through memories, presented at Broad Public in May. I would like to ask the Philosophy, Politics and Economics Program Director, Pata Spokals, to present the awards to our BA students. So, Mariana Vika from Poland. Next, we present the BA Outstanding Service to the Community Award. The Undergraduate Studies Program would like to honor two graduating students who during their time at CAU have shown outstanding dedication to the BA programs on CAU. These two students were always ready to volunteer and participate in activities such as open days, recruitment webinars, and advertising campaigns, and have left a lasting impact on the CU undergraduate programs. This year, the first BA Outstanding Service to the Community Award is given to a student from CPS. On top of participating in numerous recruitment activities, Vera is a key organizer of the Udvar Festival. The Udvar Festival started out as a CPS experiential learning project and just this past weekend celebrated its third year introducing Roma culture, overcoming stigma, and fostering community spirit in Arlo in Hungary. So very happy. <laughs> The second BA Outstanding Service to the Community Award is given to a student from PTE. Throughout his time here, Abdullah volunteered for countless webinars, open days, other recruitment events, as well as being a unibody on our website. Abdullah served as our mental body program where he acted as a mentor to a group, to a group of 12 first year students and received high praise from his mentee, uh, Abdullah Abdurrahim, Syrian Arab Republic. Thank you, Andres, and congratulations to the, to the students. We continue with the presentation of the Outstanding Academic Achievement Awards for our master's students. These prestigious awards honor the top performing master's graduates who have demonstrated exceptional academic excellence in their coursework. I now invite Eva Fodor, Director for Teaching and Learning, to introduce the awards. Each year, we celebrate the accomplishments of graduating master's students from each department. Uh, those who have achieved the highest grade point average, the GPA, based on their coursework performance. Um, among the numerous outstanding 
CEO master students. The, there are individuals in each department who have excelled in, in that regard. Um, we wish to acknowledge them now as recipients of the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Um, graduates, I, please, when I say your name and I butcher your name, I apologize in advance. Um, I'll ask you to, to come forward and, um, and, and receive um, your, your award from the head of your department or a professor in your, your professor in the department. So first, I would like to ask the head of the Department of Economics, Economics, <laughs> Robert, Robert, uh, still Economics and Business, Economics, to come forward and present the award to um, Faktum Jatu Pit Porchan from Thailand, who unfortunately cannot be here, uh, but whose acknowledgement we acknowledge today, achievement, whose acknowledgement we acknowledge today. And then I'd like to also acknowledge, ask um, uh, Bu Jian Li to come forward from Vietnam. Jens Schadendorf from Germany. Alin Haller from Hungary. Simon Peter Meyer from Austria. Edda Ingrid Louise Thompson Eck from Sweden. Apologies. Thank you, Robert. Um, <laughs> Edda, I big apologies. So I would like to ask uh, the head of uh, associate professor of the Department of Environmental Sciences and Policy, Michael LaBelle, to come forward and present this award to Hedda. Uh, big apologies. She's getting the award. And Ana Elena Olmedo Romero from Mexico. Thank you, and thank you, Michael. <laughs> I would now like to ask the head of the Department of Gender Studies, Nadia Jones Galliani, to come forward and uh, present the award to Loki Klister from Germany, who unfortunately cannot be here today. Um, Yasmin Lila Ansari from the United States of America, who again, unfortunately, cannot be here today. Shweta, who unfortunately cannot be here today. Um, Anur Aisha Azara from Indonesia. Thank you, thank you, Nadia. And now I would like to ask the head of the Department of History, Jan Hennings, to come forward and present the award to Carolina Deborah Stutz from the United States of America and Italy. Who unfortunately cannot be here, <laughs> uh, but of course we acknowledge her achievements. And Denise Tarashenko from Ukraine. Thank you. And now I would like to ask the head of the Department of International Relations, Thomas Fetzer, to present the award to Lisa Lotte Dietrecht from Germany. Thank you. And to the one course, Demet Kovac from Hungary, who's unfortunately not here. Thank you, Thomas. So now I would like to ask the head of the Department of Legal Studies, Matthias Mischel, to come forward and present the award to Kasper Van Spauwen from Belgium. And to Mikhail Mezenchev from the Russian Federation. Also, 
welcome to Xenia Guleva, uh, who unfortunately cannot be here today, and to Dorina de Jong from Hungary. Thank you, thank you, Matthias. I would like to ask now the head of the Department of Medieval Studies, Daniel Timon, to come forward and present the award to Davide Politi from Italy. <laughs> And to Nicholas Paul Taylor from Hungary and the United States. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would like to ask the director of the Cultural Heritage Studies Program, Jozef Laskowski, to come forward and present the award to Maria Rugomez Erasso from Spain. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to ask the head of the Nationalism Studies Program, Michael Lawrence Miller, to come forward and present the award to Lane Elizabeth Johansson from the United States. <laughs> and to Geneva Samantha Chade Kurz from Germany. <laughs> now I would like to ask the head of the Department of Philosophy, Katani Parker, to come forward. Yes. <laughs> Sebastian Engler from Austria. We will also be presenting this to Bralea Elizabeth Hollinshead from New Zealand, if she could be here today, but she isn't. <laughs> um, now I'd like to ask um, Anil Duman, who's the head of uh, the Department of Political Science, to come and present the award to Dorota Sokolowska from Lithuania. And to Leila Mary Lawrence from the United Kingdom and Croatia. Thank you. Thank you, Anil. And now I would like to ask the head of the Department of Public Policy, Michael Dorsch, to come forward and Present the award to Aliona. To Maria da Silva Luiz from Portugal. Thank you. And to trip it from India. Thank you. Now I would like to ask the head of the Department of Sociology and Social Anthropology, Vlad Namesco, to come forward and Whoa. present the award. <laughs> it's not getting an award yet, but it's going to present the award to Mar Mariam. Or Yonikidze from Georgia. <laughs> and uh, to Medea Sulamanidze from Georgia. To Beatrix Gomez de Figueroa. <laughs> Magdalena Kofanska from Poland.
Pentru Luța, doamna Sălă și from Hungary. Thank you, thank you, Vlad. And congratulations to all of you, and special thanks to those of you who are in my class, many of you uh, from here. Congratulations. I hope you will uh, have a wonderful summer and you'll continue your studies and um, your education. Maybe I see you, maybe elsewhere. Thank you. We continue now with the best dissertation awards. I'd like to invite Agnes Battery, Director for Research and Faculty, to present the best dissertation awards to outstanding PhD students. Uh, ever since the EU has established the best dissertation award, it has been one of the the university doctoral committee's most challenging tasks to select uh, these because it's really a, a comparing apples to pears, a medieval to a cognitive scientist. And it was no different this year, but I think we've succeeded in selecting really three outstanding projects. And it is my pleasure to name the awardees this time. And I'm going to ask our rector, Shalini, to hand over the, the awards themselves. So our first awardee is Francesca Bonalumi from the Department of Cognitive Science. The primary supervisor was Professor Christoph Heinz, secondary supervisor, Professor Gerge Cibra. Don't clap yet, it's not over. I'm still <laughs> on it. <laughs> Full uh, swing. The title of the dissertation was How We Rely on Each Other, the Perception of Commitment in Joint Activities and Communication. Francesca's approach is interdisciplinary at the crossroads of moral cognition, developmental psychology, linguistics, and communication. Her work explores how a sense of commitment is created in social interactions and what cues lead to the perception that a commitment is in place, including thoughtful reflection on potential practical implications. I can think of a couple of practical implications myself. <laughs> Numerous chapters have already been published in leading journals, including Language and Cognition, Review of Philosophy and Psychology, and Mind and Language. Now, please come forward. <laughs> Our uh, second award is David Rockwell from the Department of Medieval Studies, supervised by Professor Paul Kermenza. David can't be present today. But the title of his dissertation, truly intriguing, uh, is Justinian's conniving bankers lobbying and the imperial bureaucracy in sixth century Byzantium. His thesis reconstructed the practice of petitioning for lawmaking, called lobbying, as we now know, <laughs> under the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian I. Uh, the dissertation shows expertise in legal as well as financial matters combined with uh, a wide knowledge of modern languages. David is currently preparing his work for publication with Oxford University Press. And finally, it is my pleasure to present the best dissertation award to Masahiro Suzuki from the Department of Environmental Sciences and Policy, supervised by Professor Alec Chair, who can't be here today. The title of the dissertation was Political Acceleration in Energy Transitions, Historical Interventions and Their Outcomes in the G7 and the European Union Compared to Net Zero Targets. targets. In his dissertation, uh, Masahiro raised the question whether climate policies have accelerated the shift to clean energy in the G7 and EU countries and contributed to the understanding of the feasibility of reducing emissions worldwide. He addressed this challenge through several methodological and conceptual innovations, as well as by analyzing a large amount of empirical data. Several chapters are already serving as basis of publications, uh, some in top energy, journal, uh, energy journals, uh, energy research and social justice, and uh, the dissertation and some of these papers have also just been awarded the prestigious Early Career Scientist Award. So please come forward. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Aggie. Before moving to the CEU Excellence Awards, we're going to have a short musical interlude. It's my pleasure to introduce Pavel Parisov, who is a fourth year student in the um, um, Environmental Sciences and Policy PhD program. Uh, in his work, he attempts to unravel the mysteries and patterns of natural disasters that affect our cities. In his time away from research, he indulges in playing music and creating his own compositions. He will perform a much loved piece, Libertango by Argentine composer Astor Piazzolla. Oh. Libertango embodies the desire to break free from the constraints of the tango form, to combine it with other genres. Pavel chose this composition because, like Piazzolla's music, Innovative research tends to transcend assumed boundaries and break free from constraints of cover. Thank you, Pavel. That's brilliant. Thank you. It's with pleasure now that I announce the names of the recipients of the CU 2024 uh, Excellence Awards. CU prides itself on its dedicated academic and non academic staff. This year's recipients exemplify that through their contributions within and beyond CU. 
Congratulations to all the winners and thank you on behalf of us all at CU. We're very proud of everything you've accomplished this year. Our Rector Shalini will give out the awards. Uh, the recipients of the 2024 Excellence Awards are, first of all, CU Teaching Excellence Award is presented to uh, Christopher David LaRoche. He cannot be with us today, but uh, acknowledge his many contributions to teaching as an assistant professor in the Department of International Relations. His innovative pedagogical methods transform his classes into interactive, engaging sessions. Testimonials from the students underscore his dedicated mentorship, which has played a pivotal role in their academic success. His colleagues also enthusiastically described his exceptional dedication to students and their achievements. He's a worthy recipient of this year's Teaching Excellence Award. The Teaching Excellence Award Honourable Mention is presented to Mariana Angelova, but Mariana is not here with us today either. Are you serious? <laughs> Assistant Professor in the Department of Political Science in Undergraduate Studies in the Doctoral School of Political Science, Public Policy and International Relations. Her peers and students have noted her innovative and dynamic teaching methods, as well as how she consistently goes above and beyond for her students, both in and out of the classroom. Beyond merely imparting knowledge, Mariana's teaching and mentorship provide her students with the skills and confidence to be future change makers, change makers in the field of politics. Thank you. Uh, we also have an honourable mention for Adriana Kubayeva, who's a visiting profession, uh, professor in the Department of Gender Studies. She serves as the director of the department's two-year MA in Critical Gender Studies program and oversees internships. She cannot be with us today, but we acknowledge here her achievements. The dedication to the teaching is admired by her departmental colleagues and is an inspiration to her students. She is the first ever visiting faculty member recognized with an honorable mention for teaching excellence, reflects her abilities as an educator and her contributions to the CU academic community. So, congratulate them both. Now we come to the CU Research Excellence Award, which this year is awarded to Martin Karshay. Network and data science, focusing on social problems and human behavior, he's made a fundamental contributions to the theory of networks. He's pushed to the limits the application of network science to social questions. His work has been published in the highest quality scientific journals. He has received widespread recognition for his research. He has an outstanding international reputation. Over the years, played a key role as principal investigator in a number of large-scale research projects. We're very fortunate to have him see you and we're proud of his achievements. Congratulations, Mark. Now we move to the CU Staff Excellence Award. Um, and this is this is for Yvette Monmar. Yvette is the CU's library's Head of Electronic Resources and Services. Due to her efforts in negotiating contracts with publishers, CU now provides an impressive collection of over 100 databases, tens of thousands of online journals, and hundreds of thousands of ebooks. This collection is enviable even by larger standards of larger universities. An important achievement of hers this academic year was implementing a new documentary delivery service that delivers requested documents within minutes, including articles published in journals CU, CU does not subscribe to. CU is only the third university in Europe to have implemented this system. Additionally, Yvette has volunteered to support the implementation of two major systems projects, both of which will revolutionize how CU showcases its research and researchers, further fostering an environment of intellectual exchange in the global, global academic community. <laughs> Thank you. 
That response speaks for itself. I think. <laughs> our next staff excellence award is for Ava Lafferton. Ava is our head of student records and systems. In her many years at CEU, she's developed many institution wide improvements with an impressive commitment to the quality of our admin services. One recent example, her leadership in the Time Edit project, a substantial in initiative aimed at streamlining curricular planning, optimizing space allocation, and enhancing course evaluations, clearly demonstrates a commitment to digitalization and its belief in its potential for CEU. This commitment has improved communication, record keeping practices, and our standards of quality assurance. Ava has managed this project with high transparency, accountability, good humor, and collaboration ensuring that all stakeholders are involved in the process. Her efforts have even deserved her well, have even earned her a well-deserved recognition from the Time Edit company herself. So Ava, congratulations. We would also give an honourable mention of the Staff Excellence Award to Elena Damkul, Career Services Coordinator, who has consistently looked to improve the services offered by the Careers Service. A key example of her efforts is the introduction of Handshake, a well-known career and employability platform. This proactive step will enrich the career development journey of students and graduates and boost CU standing among English-speaking universities. Elena also took the initiative to motivate and assist undergraduate students in applying for UN Millennium Fellows programs. Despite the challenging application process, Elena assured that all applications were successful. This accomplishment equips those students with vital skills, such as leadership, enhancing their resumes, and earns CU the special title of official UN Millennium Fellows campus. Elena, congratulations. <laughs> This year's Community Service Excellence Award goes to Oksana Sakisova. For 20 years, Oksana Sakisova has been the driving force behind the International Vexio Human Rights Congress. This festival, which attracts thousands of attendees from around the globe each year, has become a significant public event. The festival champions democratic values and visual literacy, both of which are increasingly vital, particularly in the context of Hungary. Her investment of personal time and effort over the past two decades is a testament to her deep commitment to the CEO community, human rights filmmaking, and the principles of liberal democracy. Her recent decision to step down from the directorship of the festival marks the end of an era. However, she leaves a rich legacy, includes cultural enrichment and the potential impact of visual storytelling. Excellent. Our final award today, the Community Service Excellence Award, is, will be given to Anna Belaine Amiel. Anna Belaine is CEU's Gender Equality and Diversity Officer. Her vision for a more fair and inclusive com university community has made and continues to make CEU a better place for everyone. On behalf of CEU, we thank Anna Belaine for her leadership in transforming CEU to a more family friendly employer, launching a campaign about menstruation and menopause that led provision of free menstrual products on campus, revising the policy on harassment, establishing the CU's ombudspersons network, and supporting the development of an app to facilitate reporting of harassment and related issues. And I have a link, congratulations. <laughs>
thank you very much. I'd like to thank all of those who were involved in organizing this, this really delightful ceremony and um, to congratulate the recipients of all the awards. Uh, before we finish, and after, after we finish, I'd like to invite everyone to a reception in the hall next door. Um, uh, I would like to ask all the students to come up onto the stage because we want to have a picture of all the students to put on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> we have to Instagram this event.